Hello traders, S&P 500 lost 0.7% last week. We are in the middle of the quarterly earnings period and October report, October employment report is going to be published on Friday. Of course, we are still waiting for the Fed to announce the interest rate hike. However, right now the market main concern is only Hillary or Donald. So right now the market obviously prefers to see Clinton wins. Therefore, the concern is that if Trump will win, the market will decline. This is why we're seeing the market moving down in the last uh, few weeks. And I expect the market to continue moving down as we get close to the election day. After the election day, I expect a sharp decline if Trump wins. And of course, the market is expected to move higher if Clinton wins. But the interest is supposed to continue moving higher. Therefore, I expect if Clinton will win, the market will move up, but probably will continue moving down afterwards. Let's take a technical view of the market. The market is, as you can see, at a very critical point. We have a very strong cup and handle formation. It looks like we are just about to break down. Next station should be the 2100 S&P 500. So I do expect the market to continue lower, at least to the point of the 2100. Let's take a look at the stock that I picked last time when we did the last video. My first pick was ABC. ABC is down 18%, including the big crash on Friday. So it looks great. I have to tell you personally, I'm no I'm no longer there, but if you're still holding it, it's just doing fine. Second pick was T Row. T Row also doing great, down 5%. Both of them were to the short side because I expected the market to move down as it did. Let's take a look at uh, this week's two picks. My first pick for the week is Macy's M short under $35, a very nice cup and handle formation, 88 retail stores in the US. I expect it to move farther lower. My, my second pick for the week, and you may be a little bit surprised or not, is Apple short under 113.31. Apple, as you know, uh, bad reports just published uh, last week, and uh, the first time for the last 15 years that it, it missed its uh, expectation for sales. So Apple is probably going to continue lower. I wish you a great trading week and see you next week.